Today's not just any episode on the RTG. Today, I'm going to show you what I believe is the best custom tactics at FC24. I've pretty much gone undefeated in elite with this, with this formation, this custom tactics. It's been absolutely lovely for me, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. But first, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A9 Skills. Welcome back to the Road for Champions RTG Edition, where I am going to show you the best custom tactics in the game. Let's get it. So you guys are looking at my starting 11, and as always, before we get into it, if you enjoyed the RTG, could you smash a big old thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell, and I appreciate it. In the last episode, if you guys watched it, we opened up our icon pack, and also there was something very important that I showed at the end of the episode. I was down to 700 skill rate, like 705. I was almost under 600 because I had a big problem with my internet the other day, and I'm actually having this same problem today because my skill rating today was like 864 or 842, something like that. But then my internet shut off, and then I had two games. I played two games after that, and I lost both of them because the internet was really heavy. The guy's coming out to hopefully fix it tomorrow. But what I was trying to explain to you guys is I took this skill rating from 700 nearly 600 to 810 all the way to 844 864 something like that um and now i'm sitting at 810 so you can see how many games i won in a row right these custom tactics are lovely this is the starting 11 you guys are looking at right now and it's amazing but I made some moves. I made some big moves. I went out on the transfer window and I went and I found an absolute beast, an absolute monster, a Brazilian that goes by the name of Neymarzito. And I knew to myself, I just thought to myself, I knew 100% that I had to sign this guy. I had to bring him to the RTG. So I had like 340,000 coins when I decided to make a massive splash on the account and bring in the one and only Neymar. So Kubo is gonna be officially not a part of the team as of right now. And no, it's not because Real Sociedad beat my favorite team, Befica, in the Champions League. Marino, Baranestea, angle tight, and finally it's forced home for Real Sociedad. I just am going to pull him from the team for a little bit to see what Neymar could do for us. That means I'm going to move my boy Rodrigo to the striker position. And then I'm going to go ahead at the left wing position. And that's where we're going to throw in the one and only big boy Neymar. Now, yes, he's only on one chemistry and there is ways for me to fix this. But I think I'm okay with him on one chemistry. I mean, I've been playing rivals with these custom tactics, and I've been winning even with him on one chem. Now, one thing I do want to show you in Booyah Nation, you can let me know in the comments down below if you would do this move, is I could go ahead and bench Beasley, who I'm actually really enjoying right now. Even though I don't have Messi no more, I've kept Beasley because he plays the left back position really well. But at the at the left back position, I could bench Beasley. I could go out for 20k and bring. What's her name? Rolling on the floor laughing, as I always say. Uh, Roloff, I think her name is, or something like that. Roloff. Um, the, the Barca girl at left back. I could bring her in for 20K, probably 22K with a shadow on her, right? And um, bang. And now, all of a sudden, I no longer need this Spanish Liga F manager because uh, Aitana will be on full chemistry, and I can go out instead and go get a Brazilian Saudi Arabian manager and get my boy Neymar onto two chemistry, no problem. Bada bing, bada boom, chemistry sorted. The thing is, is I've kind of had success with Neymar on one chemistry, and a lot of my friends that are playing the game and dropping 20 and O's are also using Neymar on one chemistry and actually having a lot of success. I put the wrong league there, my bad, um, and having a lot of success. So I thought to myself, maybe this could be the move. Now, the one problem is when you go undefeated in rivals, like 13 and 0, uh, with like one tie you really don't want to change the team too much i mean even bringing in neymar was a little bit risky for me but it was something that i definitely thought about doing because or I, something I, I wanted to do because of how good of a player he is so maybe i'm not gonna mess with any of it and i'm gonna just allow the team to stay the way it was and just have a neymar on the team now now one thing i want you guys to know is neymar will not be playing striker for me he'll be playing the wing because i do not like this rodrigo card on the wing so when i show you my custom tactics and formation you'll understand that rodrigo actually plays plays the striker position for me because I think he finishes everything and I like him there more. Now, there's two formations I like a lot, 4 triple 2 and 4-4-2. Four, four, These are two formations that I've had a lot of success with. I've tried the 4-2-3-1, I've tried the 4-3-2-1, I've tried the 4-1-2-1-2 two, two, narrow, and the thing I've had the most success on the RTG is playing the 4 triple 2 or the 4-4-2. Four, four, now, I've really, really started to fall in love with the 4-4-2. Four, four, I'm actually undefeated in rivals until my internet started giving me problems again. Um, we really cooked up and I feel very confident that if, as long as I don't have no internet problems and the way we've been playing lately, that we should drop at least a rank one or a rank two this weekend for sure. Now, 
these custom tactics change a little bit depending on what you're playing. Now, when I first go into them, you're gonna see 71 depth. I personally don't like 71 depth. I like to be on 55 depth. That's the that's the formation. I'm that's the the, the depth that I'm most comfortable with. But right now, everyone is spamming 71 depth because 71 depth plays a higher line and it helps you press your opponent once you lose the ball. The problem with this is when you go into the weekend league and you play those five back kids and they spam over the top through balls, it's very, very easy for you to concede a very quick goal or very easy counterattack. So it is something that I don't really like to do. Usually I'll start in 55 and I'll see if my opponent, if I'm dominating my opponent like that. And if I notice my opponents on 71 and I can't really dominate the game, then I'll take it to 71. But it's really up to you. Just know that if you're on 71 depth, yes, you're going to put a lot of pressure on your opponent. Yes, you're going to do offside traps, but it, automatic offside traps. But at the end of the day, it's also gonna leave a lot of openings. So use it how you want, but 71 depth right now, EA hasn't patched it and it is a little bit broken. Um, I don't know if they're gonna patch it, but it's, it's, it's pretty wild, okay? I played 38 with on defense, kind of close it up a little bit. Um, I'm pretty all right at sending my left back and right back with second man press to go cover the wing. So I'll just go into my center back or my defensive mid or my midfielder um, to cover the, the um, you know, to cover the 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 inside and, and cover all that, you know, kind of deal with all that stuff for me is kind of what I like to do. Um, I just push him out by by second man pressing and cover everything inside myself. Um, 71 balanced, okay, and then direct passing. I keep it on 50 with, not really doing much, much with that, you know what I'm saying? Kind of just keeping it exactly the same. Hold on, I want to back out and make sure I didn't mess anything up right there. Uh, but I, I don't think I did. But yeah, just just straight up 50 on, on, uh, on, um, on offense, 38, 70, 50, direct passing. This right here is just going to keep it like that with five. Um, and then here is two and one. Now, I, a two and two. I used to have one and one, but I didn't like how many players were getting into the box, so I changed it to two and two. Custom tact uh, instruction, excuse me. Um, this is where it gets pretty interesting, so let me explain it. These videos are a little bit, you know, I like to explain it properly. Um, right here on, your, on this striker, I have them stay central, and that's it. Now, you need to make a decision on which one of your strikers you want to come back on defense. So I have one on both on stay central, but one is gonna be come back on defense. So you need to pick if you want your, your Rodrigo or your Griezmann, whoever you have. Now I put Griezmann to come back on defense because this is my mindset. He is slower than Rodrigo, so I don't like that I'm making him come back on defense, but he also has one of the best finesse shots in the game. So if I catch him outside the box, you know, lurking, trying to push up, um, because he was on comeback on defense when we transition, usually Rodrigo will be ahead of him and I could pop it back to him and hit that quick finesse shot. So for me, if I'm going to have either of these guys outside the box, I want it to be Antoine Griezmann because I know with Antoine Griezmann, I could send a wicked timed finesse shot, green it or not even green it, and it might hit the back of the net. So for me, my mindset and my thought process to this was, okay, I'd rather have Rodrigo in the box because he doesn't have that great of a finesse shot and I'd rather be able to lay it off to Griezmann on his way on the transition when we're transitioning back up he's just roaming back trying to get to the box boom right outside the box give it to him hit that finesse and it ends up working wonders for me a lot so kind of go with that in your mindset right you really don't want a slow player to be the trailer but if your slow player has a good travello or a good finesse shot from outside the box and you consistently hit with them from outside then you might want to use that you know what i'm saying so we'll go to your midfielders now where you're both are going to be on cover center but once again just like your attackers one is going to be on stay back while attacking and the other one's going to roam you know the other one's going to kind of enjoy their football so with that being said locking moderate to stay back while attacking actually stinks because of how great of a player he is but Aitana goes crazy. Aitana has some of the best R1 dribbling and all left stick dribbling in the game. So to lock her up on stay back while attacking, especially with her height, doesn't make a lot of sense. So I use Modric more as my defensive mid, AKA box to box. And I use Aitana as a goal scorer and also just a dribbler to be able to make everything happen for us. Also, she's a five-star weak foot. So she really benefits me going up and down the field a lot. And I've had a lot of success. When the ball does fall to her in the round the box, she's gonna put it into the back of the net so it's important that she's not on stay back while attacking now your right your right mid is going to stay come back on defense and get into the box you want to get into the box because you know you want as many 
players in the box as possible when you start doing the, the tiki taka passes around the box you want people to get into the box so you can have that second that, that extra pass because this this year having the extra pass is very important goalkeepers are cheesy you want to be able to have the extra pass to put the ball into the back of the net and also avoid the auto block so right mid on comeback on defense get into the box left mid on comeback on defense get into the box and also i have getting behind um on both of them as well i didn't tell you guys that but i have getting behind on both of them as well so get in behind come back on defense get into the box for crosses for your left mid and your right mid um really works wonders okay beasley is going to be balanced but overlap now something you need to understand about this balance beasley is a medium high so even though i have him on balanced he's not bombing all the way up the field because he's a medium high right so me putting him on stay back attacking plus medium high, that boy's just locked up, never going forward. I honestly should put him on the one that's staying back while attacking and let the other one be the one that goes up and down the field. But it's worked so well for me right now that I don't really want to touch it. I just want to keep it like this and not really mess around with it too much. So Beasley's on balance and overlap, but again, he's a medium high, so he's not going too crazy up the field. And I'm in love with Beasley right now. I think he's amazing. Your center backs, don't touch those. And then your right back, stay back while attacking. And that's it, all right? And again, it's very important that you understand the players you have. Look, um, I went with Klaus because not only did I get him from a team in a week pack, but he's a high high, which means he's going to push backwards, okay? And Beasley is also a medium high. If you look at left backs and right backs lately, a lot of them are high lows. None of them are actually pushing back. So I found a lot of success with both of these guys because they actually come back on defense and then Beasley doesn't push too far up the field ever, you know? So that works really well. And then Aitana, I told you the reason I let her kind of roam and do her thing. Look at, look at, Modric is insane, bro. His stats, his games, he's insane. But Aitana for us, gets a lot of assists i mean you can see that she's on pace to get a crazy amount of assists pretty quickly in 40 games she has 15 assists so she's doing very very good for us and it's because we let her just go free and with the five star weak foot she could pass with either foot she can score with either foot she got skill she's high high it is very very exciting playing with her because of what she has and then all of this as well you see all the passing attributes you see the finesse shot which is really clutch and also the dribbling and the battery the battery is really important because the battery means she's going to keep running and running and running and never really get gassed Modric doesn't have the battery so having him on stay back is kind of a plus because the battery is not there but if you read the battery increase fatigue recovery during halftime and extra time increase duration of uh team contain so you can contain more with her. It's just a lot, man. She's really, 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 really nice when it comes to all those things. So that is really important. And like I told you, with him being comeback on defense, Antoine Griezmann, with the finesse trait here, that, you know, when he's trailing, he comes up the field. I fought, drop it to him, pop it, finesse around into the back of the net, right? So <clears throat> there's something else you guys need to know. If I ever get a red card, I put Rice at center back. I know I did Rice. He's not even playing, which is crazy. Sadly, Messi's on the bench, uh, but Messi does come out for Antoine Griezmann, come in for Antoine Griezmann. R uh, Rodman usually comes in for Julie, um, and uh, Diaby used to come in for Neymar, but not really so much. If I go to extra time, Theo will touch the field as well, so will Dest, but that's really it. Kubo used to start for us. Dude has pretty okay numbers when he does play great player now with that being said four triple two is something i still play a lot of um a similar 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 thing with four triple two lads um four triple two 71 i prefer 55 but if the game's going that way go to 71 so you can stop your opponent balance direct passing 50 i got uh six players getting the box two and two instructions uh stay central getting behind on one of them stay central on the other one and that's it your left cam, come back on defense, get into the box. Your right cam, come back on defense, get into your box. Stay back while attacking on your defensive mid. Cut lit passing lanes and cover center. Cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, cover center. Um, stay back while attacking on your right back and on your left back. I left balance. And that is how I've played the team. Um, I think this year you can actually let your left back and right back go. I don't think it's a big deal of having them on stay back while attacking. I, don't, I think it's actually better for them to go forward because you have more attacking options. Um, but lads, 100%, these custom tactics, you guys can see it. Yesterday's video, we were at 700 skill rating, bro. And now I'm at 810. And I promise you guys, I was up at like 844, 864. I was streaming, right? I was playing it live. People were watching. I was on this crazy win streak. We were dominating teams. Um, and then boom, and then my internet shot. And when I came back to play, I lost like 5-1, but my games are just so heavy. I can't even play no more until the internet people get here. Um, so I would have been at probably 860 right now from 705 to 860. 
in, in, in a couple hours, right? This team has not lost until the internet problems. It dominated the custom tactics, the formations. We slayed with this. So the proof is in the pudding, man. It is absolutely insane. We're not doing it in like division one, two, three. We're doing it in the elite division with these custom tactics. It's a great team. It's great formation, great custom tactics. You guys give it a try, man. Let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you think that the pickup of Neymar was smart. I only got four games under his belt, but I picked up Neymar uh, Da Silva Santos Jr. for 313K. I'm pretty happy with him. If you guys have any recommendations of players I should bring in, please, 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 please don't hesitate to let me know. And do you think I should put Roloff back at left back and uh, try her there to see get Neymar on two chemistry or do you think Neymar's final one? All these things, man. I want to know. Please let me know, guys. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these custom tactics help you guys. We'll be back tomorrow with another RTG video. Probably Weekend League Rewards, I think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now we can qualify arrival rewards. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I will catch you back here tomorrow for another episode. Till then, y'all be safe. Booyah, we out of here.